Hello, South Strong Nation. Joe Simons, Lick Diamonds. Got my bro Luke. Hello. Good to see you, dude. Yeah, let's. Uh, I'm I'm pumped. This is uh because we really haven't done this in a long time, and there's been so many updates to the platform that I think a lot of people are going to be surprised with what's in there. So I'm, I'm yeah. pumped. And this is the whole topic here is inside America's fastest growing online fishing club. And not only have we made a lot of changes, we've spent, I mean, six figures or more just on the build out of all the stuff that you're going to see today. But we've also added like, I don't know, is it three or 4,000 members this year alone? I mean, it has been explosive growth. So Luke and I were like, hey, we need to do a video for all these thousands of new members uh, to kind of just show them behind the scenes, show them where everything is, because we have so much content. We've been doing this now for five years. We just hit our five-year anniversary, and we've had some members who have been with us all five years, so thank you guys if you're watching this or listening to this. But we have so much stuff there. It could be a little overwhelming, and and also just, I think a lot of members are going to be watching this who are already paying to be an insider, and they're going to like, oh my gosh, I had no idea you guys even had that. So the main three things, and, and really the reason that people join is to save time, to save money, and to have a network, to have a community, to have a group of anglers in your area. It's all broken down by regions, which we're going to show you in a little bit where you can ask questions. You can find out where the bait is. You can find out what depth the redfish are in right now, like this weekend. It is the most helpful group ever, and it is all privately built. It's custom built. And one big thing that we had in mind, because it was one thing that we didn't like about Facebook, was all the negativity, right, Luke? I mean, that was a big thing we said. We're going to have no negativity, no bashing, no belittling, no bowed mathing, no tra trash talking, and you can't even curse. So our boy Nick, our developer, actually has it in there where you can't curse. If you curse, it bleeps it out. Uh, so there's no cursing. It's completely family friendly. And it's just, it's, it's so interesting what that does to a community when everyone is just helpful and friendly. It is so refreshing. Like every time I go back to Facebook, our Facebook group, I'm like, oh my gosh, these people are so stinking negative. And I'm so grateful to have this, uh, this private community. But long story short, this Insider Club is everything that Luke and I wished was available back when we were first getting really serious about inshore fishing. We grew up bass fishing, finally got into inshore saltwater fishing, and some days killed it, right, Luke? I mean, some days inshore slams, we're high-fiving, and then the very next trip, nothing but catfish. And we're like, man, there's got to be an easier way. There's got to be one place to go where you can find out where the fish are right now, where you can actually have people telling you, all right, here's where you need to be fishing. Here's what you need to focus on right here this weekend. And then on top of that, to save money, right? I mean, that's another big part. We all love buying stuff. You might be able to see behind me. I know, Luke, I can see probably 10 or so rods behind you. We love buying tackle. We love trying out new stuff. And because now we have 13,000 plus members as we're recording this today, we're able to go out and get some massive discounts in a minimum across the board from every manufacturer, Penn, Daiwa, Shimano, anything you can imagine, we're getting 20% off, sometimes as high as 50%, depending on the product, uh, et cetera. So really, really awesome what, uh, what has been built here and, and just what an amazing community. We are so grateful for it. And uh, I, am, I, am, I am not shocked that it's growing so, uh, so fast. Uh, and sometimes we even have trouble keeping up with it. So that's another big reason that we are doing this video today. So uh, Luke, you have it up right now. Yeah, this is the homepage. And, and so this started with what we wish we had years ago, mm -hmm. right? But it's really grown into what we really want to have right now. So it's, <laughs> it's for both you know, the people on the beginning spectrum, but also for the really advanced spectrum. And, and so this homepage gives the kind of the sequence, if you will, where kind of the, 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 the smart spots platform, um, that, is, that is really designed to show the tactics and strategies that you need to use to, to make sure that you're in the feeding zones and not in the dead zones, right? So that you can go without any, without having to go ask for guidance or, hey, where should I fish? Um, the, the courses and the, and the details in here, this is made up of multiple things. We have the game plans, but the, the core premise is before we go into the details, the core premise is for you to have the exact information you need 
to go from wherever you are now on that spectrum from beginner to super advanced, wherever you are now to where you want to be, right? And it has everything you possibly need to know. And I'd say, because a lot of people, they, they might think, and we even had our own personal friends that were like, why didn't, why didn't you join the club? Like, oh, it's for newbies. Like, no, it's not. Uh, the, the vast majority of anglers are hardcore weekend warriors. We certainly have newbies, like complete beginners. We have some moms and dads that are just you know, paying for their kids again because they want their kids to become better. And they don't have time to coach them and train them. And we have many full-time fishing guides. I mean, I, I don't know the exact number, but it's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of full-time fishing guides. Like charter captains are in our club, not just to save money on tackle, but they love the network. I, I, you know, it's funny. Remember Luke talking to C. Richardson and, and Peter Deeks, Peter Miller, and all these guys that we've had on the, on the team as our fishing coaches. And uh, Captain Mark Hollywood Johnson – uh, they always say one of the most critical things besides being in a good fishing spot, which we teach, is having a network, having a community, having someone that you can reach out to in that area or a new area you're going to be fishing to figure out what's, what's working. And, uh, and that part has been awesome, the whole community aspect of it. Yeah, and, and yes, you mentioned that we have beginners. So people start as a beginner, but I promise you they are not beginners for very long because as long as they just go through the minimal stuff, which we basically spoon feed the minimal stuff, it'll take any beginner to an advanced angler really fast. And then, and again, Joe mentioned before, we have a lot of guides who, um, and most of which get on here to learn uh, more about the artificial lures. You know, most guides go out and they specialize in live bait fishing, which we cover some of that too. But we do, we do a lot of artificial lure stuff so that regardless of, of whether you want to you know, catch slams with lures or with live bait, it, it all is in here. And so a lot of like the more advanced people, they go from one to the other. Some people, you know, only do artificial lures and want to learn more live bait and vice versa. So again, there's something here for everybody. It's the, it's the great news. And, uh, and the best of all is that it's organized. You know, the, there's a lot of like old, old uh, online forums that are, that are really nice. You know, there's a lot of there's a lot of information in there. It's just not organized. It's really hard to find. It's clunky, and so this is definitely the most organized and comprehensive uh, platform to actually get extremely good at, at catching inshore saltwater fish that's out there. And then the community is what helps you get up to date with the latest and greatest trends. Like when tarpon starts showing up, I caught a couple of nice tarpon uh, last year on my fly rod, which I rarely use just because I was just communicating with some members and they got a good tip and, uh, and went out there and caught some fish. So, so it goes let's go to this smart, smart spots platform. What do you think? Yeah. So yeah. it's basically made up of, uh, here's just a listing of, of the items. And so it's made up of the weekly game plans and, uh, and I'll just click on it. And so what these are, these are, so every single Friday, this is like the, the bare minimum, right? This is for people who are just super busy, right? Which a lot of us are, you might have some kids or whatever, and you just don't have time to go through the, that we, you know, we have like at least one or two fishing tips going live a day. Um, and, but this is every Friday, it's a synopsis of everything that happened in the week. So I, you know, go through, we, we, we explain the recent trends, like the recent fish catching trends. And not only that, we, as we apply it to the weekend. So, and we look at the weather for the weekend and then say, hey, here's what's been happening. And then here's what's most likely gonna happen this weekend based on the weather. Sometimes the trend holds through, but if like a big weather system's coming through, we basically do everything for you so that you don't, so that you don't have to go through the courses and, and really have to learn the details yourself. You just get the, week, the game plan every week and they go out there and catch fish. It's uh, as simple, simple as that. So that's relatively new. So you can, you'll have access to all the past ones. And it started, you know, started back in December been very very popular again a lot a lot of people are just busy right and so this is the answer to those who are busy to go out and catch catch and so we, we cover two things so so number one is we give a game plan for going out and just making sure you catch a bunch of fish right the quantity of fish focus and then also we give the quality of fish focus those are almost always going to be two different game plans and so we give you that okay so if you want to catch quantity of fish you're taking some kids out or taking some like coworkers or something who just don't fish very much, you need to follow the quantity game plan because that is going to make sure you go out and just have a bunch of fish. And then if you're really going after trophies, going after some personal bests, is we give you the you know the the actual quality game plan, and that way you can implement that throughout the weekend as well. 
Yep. And I don't know if you want to click on one or not, but I mean, it's, it's 10 minutes or less every week. This is probably the most, one of the most helpful things that we have for busy people, which pretty much is all of us, right? Most of us have jobs. We have families, we have stuff going on. And this is like the one thing that insiders do not want to miss, uh, especially if you're going to be fishing that weekend. And this is taken, as Luke mentioned, from all of the intel from Texas all the way up to Virginia. So the entire Gulf, all over Florida, all the way up to Virginia, and, and literally like getting on a satellite map and showing you where you should start fishing, like what kind of areas to target. It is so, so, so helpful. It's the one thing, even with my busy life too, I mean, it's the one thing I always make sure to watch uh, before the, uh, the weekend. Yeah, uh, so is, yeah, go for it. And as far as the region this applies to, so right now we have, as Joe mentioned before, we have over 13,000 members. The geographic region is the majority is from Texas all the way along the Gulf, along Florida, right? All of these pins are, these are all reports that have been updated into, into our private community platform, whether from us or the members themselves. Members can post their own reports. And, uh, and, and so there's, you can see there's a lot of them. And so what we do is we, we look at all the reports, obviously, and so we gather the, the latest intelligence on exactly what trend, like what feeding trends has been happening. Um, whether the fish are holding deep, they're holding shallow, they're holding on the, on the edges, they're holding close to the passes and inlets or they're further inland, right? When the wind blown shorelines versus the wind protected shorelines, we cover all that. And we basically just, again, just spoon feed it to you basically. Um, but again, it's accurate for this region, right? If you're targeting redfish, sea trout, snook, flounder, regardless of where those are, one cool thing that we've realized um, over and over again is that the species have the same biological preferences based on a changing weather pattern, just the same, you know, over in Texas, they, they react to changing weather, just the exact same as the ones in Florida, as the ones in the Carolinas, so on and so forth. So when you understand the species, the, that's the, the awesome thing is once you understand a, how a species of fish truly behaves, you'll be able to go out and catch a ton of fish consistently, regardless if you're fishing your backwaters, or if you're out traveling somewhere in some totally different area that happens to have redfish. So that's been the really cool thing. Yep. A uh, redfish is a redfish is a redfish. Yes. Um, and, and, and it's so, been proven over and over again. Yeah. And uh, so, so that, so that's just a way so that you can see the geographic region, obviously all those pins, you know, you can actually click on the pins to see what the report was and then, and then ask the person who reported the questions. And it, it's, it's, a, it's really is awesome. That's, that's part of the community platform. I think well, there are 12,000 fishing reports now. Uh, yeah. Plus or minus there's like 40, it's like 40 to 50 a day now. Um, so that's the average. So there's just a, so real time information. This is another thing I, I learned the hard way is real-time information is a thousand times better than like year over year information. Um, because every year is different. Sometimes it gets colder sooner, sometimes it gets colder later. And, and, and just real-time intelligence and human intelligence trumps anything else that I've ever seen too. So again, we, we, us humans go through this uh, and then give you the latest and greatest based on what we've been seeing recently ourselves and across the community plus the weather, the weather forecast. Because um, a lot of people use tide forecasts, which obviously you have to do that. But most people, at least me for many years, even when I was doing tournaments, I, I never really put much focus on the weather. And, and the weather is extremely important. So if you're in that boat, then make sure to check out these weekly game plans. Um, and then make sure to go through these courses too. So so back to the courses. Um, so as far as getting super tactical and, and strategic on as far as knowing exactly what these fish are doing and why, um, the courses explain all that. So this is the, the Finding Spots Mastery course. This is all about going out, whether you're in your home waters or somewhere you've never even been before, and catching fish and just knowing where the fish are most likely going to be. And, and just it teaches you that the, uh, the tactics and strategies just go out and maximize your odds of catching good fish. In this course right here, we were selling for $297. And I promise you, we have had multiple full-time guides go through this. And they were like, they joined the club, like, I'm going to skip this thing. And we're like, just, just go through it. And they, every one of them come like, holy smokes, I learned a whole lot about these online maps, especially 
because everyone uses Google. There's so many times when you can get some really crazy intel from these other maps, the Bing, the MapQuest, the Earth Pro, et cetera. And you can find crazy structure that you might not have any idea that was uh, there. I mean, we call it some ninja tactics, if you will, that are included in this that, that no one is teaching out there. You can't find it out there on the YouTube. Uh, it just doesn't exist. And it's all here in this, uh, this one course. And it's both off the water, right, Luke, which is the looking at satellite maps, and then also on the water, what to look at as well. So this is really the foundation. We tell everyone, if you're a brand new member and you haven't done this yet, like this, this right here, if you go through this, you will know more than like 98% of all anglers in the country about finding really good spots super fast from the comfort of your home. Yeah, and as I said before, right, a beginner will come in here, but if, if a beginner goes through this course, which it's about, it's only like, most of these, the video lessons are like five minutes max. So it takes about two hours, I think, to go through this. Maybe even not, I haven't actually have time, but it's, it's no more than two hours. And so in that amount of time, you will definitely not be a beginner if that's where you are now. And, uh, and again, it, it covers everything, it covers different maps. So this is the, the before you get on the water. So what to do at your house. And then when you're on the water, you know, we go through details on exactly what to look for, how to identify if you're in a feeding zone or a dead zone, regardless of how good you are reading maps, uh, you're not going to be perfect. It's impossible to be perfect. So it's, it's super important to understand how to quickly identify if you're in a good spot or not, so that you can bail out if you're in a bad spot and find, find a good one. So anyhow, yeah, that's, that's that course. There's cool bonus material in there too. Uh, talking about tides of currents, right? For, for total newbies, just you know exactly how it works. Um, obviously the best fishing knots, really important. A lot of people uh, miss that. One thing too, I wanna emphasize this. This is the number one reason why uh, most anglers don't catch many good fish. If you ask any fishing guide, I guarantee you their answer is gonna be casting. That is really, really important. And most people, even advanced people, are not casting as good as they could. And so this governs the details on, on both distance and accuracy. Super, super important. And then obviously, you know, how to catch photo release, you know, the, the conservation part as well. How to make sure that if you are gonna be catch release fishing, how to do it as efficiently as possible so that these fish can thrive once they're released. So that's, that was the first course. And, and, so these, the second, and these are all free for Insider members, by the way. You, you don't have to pay extra for these, these courses. These are the ones that, because it is really the foundation, these are all courses we used to charge for, and now they're completely free here uh, for Insider members. Yeah, and so the next one is about positioning and approach. We'll just feature the, the, two, the two core courses. There, there are some others, but these are the two ones that is a must, a must go through for all anglers, I believe. And this is about, again, positioning and approach. So it's one thing to find the fish. It's another thing to actually catch them. And positioning and approach is the thing that is most overlooked that can actually make a really big impact, right? When you say you're going to have a spot, do you come in with the wind? Do you come in with the current? Do you come in against the current? Uh, what if the wind is against the current? You know, what if they're going two different directions or the same? We cover it all. So we cover it all in here. Whether you're in a boat or a kayak, we have, we have it all. We cover, you know, boat stuff, what to do in a kayak, um, and then just and actually give examples too. So detailed examples on boats, detailed examples on kayaks, and then a couple extra stuff too about just you know, managing your whole slap. A lot of people don't do that properly. That is a, the biggest reason why people, many people don't catch big fish, because big fish are smart, and so you need to be smarter than them and, and uh, just make sure that you're being as sneaky as possible. Yeah, this, yeah. this, is, this is one of those things. It, the, the more and more we got into salt strong and into teaching and into, you know, having fishing coaches like the captain C Richardson's and, and Deeks of the world, we realized how important this was and no one was teaching it. Right. Cause everyone wants to talk about the shiny new lure. We want to talk about slam shady and all that cool stuff. But this is what separates the people who might catch a couple fish to the ones who are catching inshore slams. Like when, if you've ever been in a spot where you're seeing fit, like you're actually seeing tailing redfish, you're seeing snook, you're seeing trout, you know there's fish there and you can't get them to hit. This is usually one of the big causes. It's bad positioning and bad approach. And I am so, so, so guilty of this myself and being so, not just being loud, everyone knows not to be loud, but it, just to how you approach that and even how you cast to it, um, hey, if you're approaching an oyster bar, what side do you go to first? I mean, most people don't really know. They just kind of make an educated guess. 
this eliminates all of the guesswork and makes it so, so, so much easier. Uh, and you will, if you go through those two courses, you will catch more fish. That alone, if you just go through those two things, and that's why we put them first, like please, all new members, go through the finding spots mastery and positioning approach. It'll answer so many of your questions and you'll, you'll have that light bulb moment on, on why you haven't been as successful as you want to. Right, Luke? Yeah. And, and we, uh, so one thing that you, if you were looking at all the, the categories, lures were not mentioned at all. And that's because if, if you do this properly, first of all, it applies to whether you're using any type of lure or, or, or live bait. But if you do this properly, it doesn't really matter what lure you're using, you're gonna be catching fish, right? You're gonna be finding the fish and you're gonna be approaching them properly so that you're not spooking them. And if you just do that properly, it, the, lure, it, the lure does not matter nearly as much. That's why you know, we go do a lot of lure tests, whether we're using a lure that's totally foreign or a new one, I mean, it's rare that we're not, that we're not catching fish because again, because the, the core essentials, finding the fish and getting to them properly are done the, the proper way huge huge advantage if you do that yep. and then if you do if you do either of these wrong it, it is a significant disadvantage and again this is this is why 80 percent, you know 20 percent of the anglers catch 80 percent of the fish is because most people don't go through the effort of learning those two those two things so can't emphasize that enough to go through it i think we've hit that one hard enough <laughs> so next one we'll go through the the insider reports and this is really what helped uh, basically put us on the map, I think, as far as just being totally different than anything else. Um, Cause yet, I mean, there's a lot of TV shows that have really good information. You know, there's a lot of YouTube videos that have good information, but there's never been anything that is as detailed or as organized as these insider reports. And so just for kind of what they are, is it's almost like a TV show, right? Where it shows like on the water footage on what's happening. But we also show on Google Maps, like every single fish that we catch, we get on the lowest level Google Maps and say, here's where it was, here's, why, here's how we approached it, here's why we selected this lure to catch it, and, then, and it goes through everything, right? So we, we literally cover everything. And the reason why is that it's, it's, you know, it is nice to like learn the tactics and strategies, but there's nothing better than to actually see real life examples, both on the water, right, what to do, while you're on the water, plus what to do on your online research, to see that on a, on a, on a weekly basis, at least once a week, if not twice a week, um, because and most of us can't get out that frequently. And just to see that over and over again, to see real life examples, so that whenever you get out there next time, you, you can just apply whatever you've been seeing on these Insta reports to your area. Right? This, again, like, this is what, you remember my buddy Chris Luke in Jacksonville, this, this is what got him to finally join because he was going to join just for the discounts because he, he was spending a ton of money, thousands of dollars a year, probably like most of us, on rods and reels and line and lures and hooks. And so he wanted the 20% or more discounts and everything. And then I got in here, did something similar to this on a Zoom call. And he's like, wait a minute. He's like, you mean to tell me like you guys are going to fish a new spot every single week and you're showing everything, including the pre-trip plan, what you learned, where all the fish, where all the bait was. And he's like, why didn't you tell me about it? I was like, we've been trying to. And he signed up that, that day. And I mean, th this is, this would be like, if you mentioned a fishing show, a fishing show, imagine your favorite fishing show every week. I mean, not just 12 episodes a year, but literally every week, real time on demand, not only like did the show and showed you the cool highlights, but actually got on a map and showed you exactly where they were. And I think even more importantly, you know, why they picked that spot and why they approached certain areas the way they did. But in why, real time, yeah, real time is, is it because yeah. the magazines, like I used to rely on magazines and TV shows. Laughable. Yeah, TV shows are filmed, you know, three months, if not more in advance before they're aired. And, and even the magazine articles, there's a lot of editing involved. There's a lot, especially the big magazines, like the more established ones. There's just a lot of moving parts. Yeah, they're they're ninety they're ninety days out ahead. So the article that by time it hits your doorstep in a magazine, it's a minimum ninety days. Sometimes one hundred twenty in fishing TV shows. Once again, I love them for the entertainment. And that that's what I believe they are entertaining, right? And which is why I still watch some of the fishing TV shows. Not necessarily to learn, but it's more about just the entertainment part of of watching something that I like. But some of those, I mean, they're they're nine months 
pre-fouled. I mean, it's a night and day difference. Yeah, and, and it's organized too. So if you can see here, we have this filter section. And so if I'm, if I'm fishing in the spring, right, and I will really want to catch, okay, I've never caught a redfish. I want to catch my first redfish or whatever. Um, then you just click, you know, spring and redfish. And now here are all the detailed reports that show a redfish caught in the spring. Right, so there's now five years of reports that are all in this, in this thing, and so you can obviously see a bunch of them. If you want to see again redfish and sea trout, you click the trout. If you if you will really want to get dialed in on an incoming tide versus an outgoing tide, on clear water versus cloudy water, um, you know, clear weather, rainy weather, cloudy. There's a huge amount of intelligence in the air. It's like the ultimate fish log, right? So it would be like a a, a, a guide every week logging everything in video format and notes. I mean, if you go down here, you can even see the notes on where they were, what the tide was. I mean, we're documenting all this stuff at least once, if not twice a week. And now that we have four plus years of this, it, it is the ultimate logbook of, of what's working right now. Correct. And, you know, unlike TV shows and, you know, magazines, newspapers, whatever, you can't actually ask the author anything, right? <laughs> And so, you know, here, right, if you have a question, just leave, leave a comment and whoever did it will answer it. So, you know, he asked it eight hours ago, he got a response an hour later. So nothing else, again, nothing else like that is this real time, this detailed and this interactive. So it's, it's literally the ultimate the ultimate thing for anybody who likes catching in source all fish. Yeah. And if you're listening to this podcast, definitely go check out the YouTube video either on YouTube or on the show notes at saltstrong.com forward slash podcast. I think it'll be super helpful to you uh, to see this, even though you could probably kind of understand what we're talking about. All right. What, uh, what next besides this is uh, the insider reports with this trend analyzer. What? Uh... Yes, yeah, so that's the trend analyzer. So let me go back to the homepage. So you go, go to the homepage, just click on the, uh, the top icon and go right back to the home. And so the next is the fishing tips, and I'll just click, click on that. This is, um, this is just, the, if you want to see the latest stuff on just what has happened lately, is the fishing tips. So this just shows the entire summary of all of our tips. Um, so that's just there for convenience. Um, back to you know, some detailed, um, this is kind of like an insider report. We call them spot dissections. Oh, this is so, dirty. This is yeah. dirty. Yeah, so this is where... Um, a lot of members just, hey, um, you know, I'm in such and such. So I'm, I'm fishing in Destin, right? And so can you please do, can you please kind of show an example in my area? And so what we'll do is this is at least once a week. So we'll pick out a new area and based on a, a member, like a group of members just recently joining, and then we'll do a dissection of their area. Say, hey, here are the, here are the different spots that you need to, to look for. And then why, right? And then when. Right, it basically does. It puts it all together. Right, and just like I said before, it, there's there's just nothing this detailed where we could literally get on maps and say, here's where you should fish. Here's why. At this time it'll be good. At this time it won't be good. And so then uh, this this other time goes somewhere else. Yep. And these are anywhere from seven, I'd say, on the low end to you know 15 or even 20 minutes on on some areas. I mean, they're super detailed. And you go through that. I mean, you're you're going to have your game plan in that area for really the next year. I mean, uh, we break down everything, every little point, every little nook and cranny, all the stuff that we teach in the Finding Spots Mastery course, but on steroids. It would be just like a fishing guide. If you called up one of your local fishing guides and said, hey, you know, I'm having trouble with this area. Can you dissect for me on a map? And he goes online and does a 15 minute video and shows you every good spot that you should be focusing on. And uh, that's usually every single Monday at a minimum, we put one of those up there and we've got, you know, a couple years of those as well from really Texas all the way up to, uh, to Virginia is as high as we've gone really anywhere where you can catch an inshore slam, obviously, you know, in, in Florida and parts of Texas, we have snook, but when I say inshore slam, I mean, redfish, speckled trout and, and flounder, sometimes snook, you know, sometimes mangrove snapper, sheep's head. I mean, just, uh, you know, anything that's really in the inshore saltwater waters and, um, saltwater waters, um, really that you can find from Texas to, uh, to Virginia. Now we do have quite a few New Jersey, uh, members and uh, we are starting to see a whole lot more about, you know, stripers and we even got John Skinner doing a, a, a striper mastery course. So we're starting to move up there, but just so you all know, if you're listening and you're wondering, this will work in your area guaranteed. We've proven it now with, you know, 13,000 plus people now 
really from Texas to Virginia. Of course, we even have people in other countries and we have tons of people in Michigan, Ohio that have second homes or even just come down here once a, once a month uh, out of the entire year and just want to maximize their time, right? If your time's valuable, this is for you. If you love learning about trial and error and you love to learn something in 10 years that you could have learned in a week, then I would not join this. But if you would love to shave off years of trial and error and years of hitting your head against a desktop, then this is probably a good, uh, a good fit for you. Yeah, so now that Joseph saw Bramlin, um, yeah, so just to show the map, you know, it, as I said before, the pins are helpful and, and, and we do cover, you know, we don't just cover those species, right? We do as seasonal species, like migratory species like tarpon come into play. We obviously report on those as well. So like here's a report of when I got into some really big tarpon. Again, I published this report about two days later and some of our members got there as well and, and caught some good fish too. So again, real time information is huge. And so just so you can see, I'm zooming in on the master map. And there's just, there's just a ton of pins and they're all, again, they're all organized and what we've recently done. So even, um, you know, even insiders who have been on this map a lot, haven't seen this. So we now have a more detailed regional um, page. So we're basically building like, like regional small groups, if, if you will, where it's almost like a, a club, like a community within the community. And so now on the regional pages, so this is just for Tampa Bay is that now you can access all of the, pins in Tampa Bay but not only that is so this is this is like just the ultimate of uh of things so if I wanted to see all the redfish right if I just want to see okay I want to see the redfish that were caught in Tampa Bay during this season I can just use the toggles over here this is just a um this this is just a random account I haven't set up the details but there's uh as soon as you set it up there's the, the species that you're most interested in and then you can do the season and all you do, right, is you click the species that you're interested in, and then the season, and then all of these pins will be filtered accordingly. So you can really dial in to exactly uh, what you need to see. Or if you just want to see the latest and greatest stuff, so you just scroll like, down. That was and, four hours ago there. Yeah, so four hours ago. And again, a lot of really helpful information. Um, talk about, you know, the lures used, and many, many people um, put in the, you know, the tips and tactics. So he was pitching along mangrove shorelines with oyster bars, right? So like some really helpful information, um, talking about, you know, he was doing it at no tide period. Again, just, just stuff that, um, you, the, the type of information that generally is not shared on like a Facebook group. I would say ne never shared and it's organized, right? Which is why we built this and it started in Facebook as a Facebook group. And we realized it was getting way too big because you, you couldn't find anything there, right? In Facebook, it's basically gone in 60 seconds. So this is like Luke just mentioned, so well organized where you can find anything. And now we're doing meetups, of course, with this whole virus stuff kind of slowed that down, but a lot of members are meeting up. And of course, when this does get better, that will happen again. Uh, where someone will say, hey, um, uh, we're going to meet here and take the kayaks. We're taking the boats out to this ramp or this state park. And, you know, 10 to 15 people will uh, will meet up and everyone goes out and you can have your own little fun tournament or just fish for fun, come back, have a beer, talk about it. It's been really cool to see uh, kind of kind of like in church, like a lot of these little small groups are starting to form. Uh, it's It's been pretty awesome and a lot of cool friendships form because of it, too. Yeah, and so another thing too, this another benefit is, is we have cheat sheets. So, you know, as questions come in, uh, or if we kind of get like the recurring questions from members, and this has been throughout the years, we've created these. Um, so we create, you know, we end up creating catch cards. We have a lot of people ask about, okay, how, if I'm trying to catch redfish under these conditions, what do I do, right? Or uh, is these type of conditions, I want to catch redfish, what lure do I use? So now there's cheat sheets for all that. And so there's a, a cheat sheet for redfish, black drum, you know, individual species, Spanish mackerel, even stone crabbing, um, flounder, you know, just the, again, the popular species. Um, then we have cheat sheets for lures and rigging, right? So what type of lures should you be using in cloudy water versus clear water, turbulent water versus calm water? It gives you the matrix and in color too. Super, super important. A lot of people get that wrong. It definitely does make a difference. And then, and then seasonal wise too, right? So if you're not focused on just redfish or just black drum or just trout, uh, if you just want to go out, hey, I'm going to be fishing in the spring, I just want to maximize my results. What do I do? And, uh, and that's why these these cheat sheets were done. 
Um, so, and then even more, more species, some of the offshore stuff, uh, and then obviously knots. So basically just as questions come in and if we get a recurring question, we'll say, okay, let's, let's make a cheat sheet. So this is what we have now and there'll be a lot more added throughout the future. And then we even eBooks too. So, e so we have multiple eBooks. And so as if you're an insider, uh, you get free access to all of them. So simple as that all very valuable stuff and then and then so the community platform is is that's where all the networking happens that's what we showed earlier and and this is this is where it's more about real-time information and for networking just being part of the community um, a lot of good q a happens in here look at martha uh, jenkins pictures look at on the right hand side you can see all the new members <laughs> oh no that's a, that's a tough picture <laughs> Yeah, and so so this is where you you know go to network. This is where I go every single day, and and I look at the reports just to know exactly what's happening in real time, and uh, and just it's just fun. Like a lot of these people, I now feel like I've known forever because they're doing a lot of posts, and, uh, and again, even for like boat ramp closures right now, um, some real time information on on where you can and can't fish. So uh, again, as I said before, it started out with kind of like what we wish we had back in the day, and then it's kind of morphed into hey. I really, it would be really cool to be able to filter all 12,000 reports by species by month. Let's do it, right? And so now it's, it's, it's become um, a, just a, an incredibly helpful resource for getting from like advanced to like really advanced, right? For, for really dialing in to know exactly how these fish move and why they move the way they do. And then also exactly what's working right now because that's way more important than what happened last year. Yep. And then Ooh, discounts, one. which we can't show you, um, yeah. but it's, it's essentially if it's tackle, that means rods, reels, line, lures, terminal, anything you can imagine with tackle and, uh, and even a lot of gear that you could find at Bass Pro, we basically have it now. Uh, and that even includes, well soon. It's just growing very fast. You know, that even includes sunglasses from, I, I will just, I won't name the brands, but you know what I'm talking about, all the biggest ones. Uh, and it's a minimum. 20% off everything and sometimes as high as is 50%. And so we have members who save hundreds of dollars a year just from the discounts alone. And that includes, you know, our slam shady lures and some new, uh, new lures and things we're coming up with. And of course all our apparel and things like that. So it is, um, it, it, it's a no brainer. It was funny. We talked about this Luke. Someone had mentioned on face some other Facebook group, hey, is uh, I'm thinking about joining the Insight Club. Is it worth it? And, and multiple members, which is really cool, chimed in without us having to urge them. And they're they're like, absolutely. I've been a member for two years, three years. Um, and, and most of them said, like, it saves me a ton of time. And I save tons of money on all these discounts from cast nets to, to rods, reels, et cetera. And so, the, you know, the saving time is what we all want. The, the discounts is how you justify it with your bank and your spouse, et cetera. This is many of us has found is uh, Hey honey, um, here's how much I spent last year on fishing tackle. Here's how much I'm, I'm saving with this, uh, this club. And then ultimately th this is, this is something we don't talk about much and probably not enough. A lot of this is about legacy too. You know, the whole reason Luke and I are doing this, the whole reason we quit our jobs in the financial services industry is because our grandfather taught us how to fish and our grandfather taught our dad and our dad taught us and spent so much time with us out on the water. And so much of this is about, is about legacy. I mean, if you're like me and you have kids or you want kids, I think we can all agree. We want them outside. We want them to have the same experiences and the same opportunities that, that we did. Right. I mean, we want to give them every opportunity to get outside to get off the, their phones and devices and Nintendo games and Xboxes and to get outside and go fishing. And so this platform, these tips empower you to go out there and confidently catch fish, right? The whole deal is for you to go out there with confidence every trip with or without your family, but hopefully you start bringing family and kids and neighbors and go out there and catch fish faster than ever. Um, and, and, and we've seen that over and over again. That's what really gives us kind of the goosebumps, if you will. We, we get those emails, right, Luke, that are from a, a mom or a dad who, who have joined and like, man, thank you guys so much. Because of what I learned here, I was able to go take my son or my daughter or, or my dying 
uh, father, grandfather out and just catch a ton of fish. We had such a blast, took a ton of pictures and created memories. So that's really the final piece of it is creating fun and creating memories. It's not just about going out there and catching an inch or slam. That is a lot of fun, but so much of it are the memories that are being created. And, and that was huge for us. When we lost our grandfather at 93. You know, we all sat around having some beers, talking about his life and what we remembered. And guess what? Not a single time did we bring up what he gave us for Christmas. I couldn't even remember what he got me for Christmas, right? Over the 40 years of, of, of me living and getting gifts from him every year, I didn't even remember what he got me a single time, yet I had all these memories of him taking us out in the boat and taking us down the marina there at Ponce Inlet and all the times on the, on the beach and teaching us knots. I mean, those were all the memories I had of him. So this is a big part about legacy, not just saving you know 20% on, on your rods and reels. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, and this is and and again, it's it's most of the reports we see are people taking their kids out, which is awesome. It's nothing cooler to see just a kid pumped up from catching yeah. a fish. What is sometimes it's not even a big fish, but especially a big one. They're just super pumped. But I saw one from uh, from Victor, a member um, who posted his his dad catching his first redfish. You know, he he didn't he just learned from learned how to do it all, and then took his dad out, and his dad was super pumped catching his first fish. So it's just awesome to get family involved, and even even if it's just coworkers, just really any, just bringing more people into fishing is, is, first of all, it's fun. It creates a lot of good memories, but also it's going to help us preserve the environment better. The more people who love and respect fishing, the more people are going to be out there looking out for the environment. So a lot of, a lot of good reasons, and the great news is that this is 100% guaranteed, too. So you have, you have nothing to lose by trying it out. Yeah, you know, there's some some companies give 30 day guarantees, some give 60, few give 90. We went full Monty. We went 365 days, and the only reason we went one year is because that's as long as we can legally do it with the merchant account. So we've done, I think, the unheard of. I mean, don't you wish all companies did that? Our our guarantee to you is. You get in today if you're not hardly a member. And if this isn't the best fishing investment you ever made, if you haven't made friends, if you're not catching more fish, you're not saving time and money, then you shoot one of us an email and we give you all your money back. No questions asked. And we don't care if it's day 364 and 59 minutes. Uh, that's our promise to you because we were raised by, by hardworking parents and said we don't deserve to keep anyone's money who's not happy for an entire year. So it is an unheard of guarantee uh, just because that's how confident we are. And it, in the beginning, we were, we were kind of nervous and it just, it never happens. I mean, people get in and like my buddy, Chris is like, I can't believe you guys have all this stuff. Like this is game changing. Why, why, why isn't everyone in here? And a lot of it's because we haven't taken the time to show some of the, the behind the scenes stuff. Cause it has been private. It's very exclusive. The very beginning, the first year it was invitation only. Like you couldn't even find it on our site. Now it's more open. Now we have 13,000 members. And now, of course, we're leveraging those numbers to get really awesome discounts and cool stuff for, uh, for you guys. So thank you all. If you're listening and you're currently a member, thank you so much. Uh, th this, I mean, this really means a whole lot to us. You guys have become our family. Uh, we love doing our little meetups with, with you guys. And even right now during this virus stuff, I mean, I love getting on there every single day. I get on at least twice a day and just comment on all the, all the posts and see what people are catching. And I, I really feel like it's like it's a little family. It's been really, really special. And if you're not a member, you can go to saltstrong.com forward slash pricing and see the latest and greatest deal. You, we throw in all those courses we mentioned, maybe even a couple of, couple of a cooler deals as well. So it's saltstrong.com forward slash pricing. And uh, we'd love to see you in there today. Once again, you have nothing to lose. Either you're catching more fish and saving time and saving money, or you don't pay. It's that, that simple. Yeah, and again, based on the feedback we've had, whether you're, you know, fishermen in Texas, in Louisiana, Mississippi, or, you know, Alabama, Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, Virginia, even even further up, even Maryland and, and New York, got a lot of members going up there and, and going through the system and just reporting that it's working great for them too. As I said before, a redfish is a redfish is a redfish. If you understand how they behave, you're going to be able to catch a ton of them consistently and, and, as, and this, this platform has the most comprehensive, uh, detailed analysis on exactly how they move and, and how to make sure you catch them every trip. Yep. So that's it, guys. If you're currently a member, go in the community. Log in. Give some people some love today. Post your latest reports. Post your questions. Make sure to check out all the discounts. We're adding new products to it. It seems like daily now. 
And if you're not a member, go to saltstrong.com forward slash pricing and join us today. Join the fastest growing online community in the universe, maybe the entire galaxy. We are out. Thank you guys for all the love, all the support. Hope you have an amazing day and you're able to get out soon and catch some big ones. Isn't that your sign off? Catch some big ones. That's it. Oh man. Beautiful. <laughs> all right, guys. Peace. See ya.